Greetings, everyone. Hello there. I don't film this, but I do this every day, every morning. Uh, I'm gonna do my yoga. So I thought I'll vlog it just so you guys know that I'm still actively doing it. I'm not, I'm not taking no breaks. And I encourage it. Anybody that wants to get healthy, try to do 20, 30 minutes of yoga every morning. It gets the blood flowing, gets your breathing started. Because a lot of us breathe so shallow. And if no one does exercise, then you're not gonna breathe heavy ever. It's really bad for you. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to be breathing. It's like really important. Wow, I look like, I look like that today. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Such a little cereal goblin in the morning. It's not even morning. What time is it? 4 p.m. <laughs> Doesn't feel like short weather, but I'm trying to trick my brain into thinking that it's warmer than it is. So from now on, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, let's go to the river. Pretty cold, there's some snow on the mountain today. But I'm not gonna let it not, not gonna let that bother me. It's not raining, so I have nothing to complain about. Pretty epic, I like it down here. I'm so moss covered. I was hoping to find something in there, but nah, nothing. Whew, this tree fell down here. Just left to rot. I'm following a path I haven't followed before. Some nice mossy spots. It's a camping spot. Have I been here before? Maybe I have. I found this camping spot a year ago. And then in my mind, I, f I thought it was somewhere else. So I never found it again. And I just found it again on accident. Nice. Flat ground, shelter from the wind, old wall. <laughs> Giant fire pit. Wow, it's wet right now, but in summer it'll be nice here. Wow, I found it again. It took me a year to find this spot again. <laughs> nice. Yeah, when, you, when we do some camp outs with everybody, with you guys, uh, I've got so many spots saved on my phone now where we can camp. Look how epic that is. The rock is being kissed by the tree, or the tree is being kissed by the rock or something. Just growing through the crack. Wow. So epic. I guess today is just an exploring video. I kind of let my heart out yesterday, told you guys everything I was feeling, and I feel a lot better having shared that. I spoke to some close friends too. Oh, is that a giant piece of quartz? Looks like it. If I ripped all that moss away, yeah. Huge bit of quartz. 
Whoa. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, I spoke to a couple of close friends yesterday. I feel much better about everything. Look at this old wall. Whoa. The wall goes there. Huh, I thought that would have been an entrance, but it's not. Close that off. Wow. This used to be someone's field. <laughs> not anymore. Now it's my playground. This place is just so mossy. Kind of obsessed with it. So I was looking at my channel anal analytics yesterday to try and learn a bit more about you guys so I can kind of cater my content to who's watching. This is like really interesting for me, but maybe not for you guys so much. My audience is 33% 18 to 24 year olds, 41% 25 to 34 year olds. That's my age group. You guys are the same age as me. <laughs> And then 35 to 44, 14%, 45 to 54, 7%, 55 to 64, 3.2%, and then 65 plus, 0.2%. Uh, that's fascinating to me. Whoever's out there that's 65 plus, what's up? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> why are you watching me? <laughs> this is what fascinated me was ages 13 to 17, 0.2%. That used to be my highest um, bracket back when I was doing the main channel full time. And I would always get in trouble for like doing anything controversial because well, like anything dangerous in my videos People would be like you're you're a bad influence on who's watching you. You've got like loads of kids You've got to be responsible people were saying that before they even knew my channel analytics I was the only one that knew my analytics, but everyone would just assume that it was kids watching well now I can I can happily say there are no kids watching absolutely zero Well, sorry 0.2% <laughs> but That's such a minority now compared to what it used to be but my my question is now, how come my video is not being pushed to people under the age of 18? Have I been blacklisted to adults only? I mean, it's not an issue, but that, that would explain why the views have been so low compar compared to what they used to be. Kids run YouTube, like they, they are ma majority of the audience. Obviously not my audience, but in general, it's kids inflating the views on YouTube videos. So why are my videos not being pushed? Um, when I upload, there's a button that says, is this made for kids or is it not? And I always click no. And I think that maybe that's stunting my growth on YouTube because it's then only pushing my videos to adults. I didn't realize that's what kids meant. I thought, is this video from like ages zero to seven or something? Which obviously no, my content's not made for those kind of kids. But I think YouTube's grouping in teens with kids. Maybe that's what massive YouTubers like MrBeast and stuff are doing, they're, they're clicking Yes, this is made for kids, and then the videos get pushed to everyone. Whereas my videos seem to only be being pushed to adults. And like, I don't really talk about too much controversial stuff in these videos. Not like adult content. Like, I talk about sobriety, but that's... There's not, nothing graphic there. Should I be pressing yes, or should I be pressing no? Because I don't know. What's happening here? Huh. Someone's doing some science. I, I don't know, I, th I just thought it was really interesting. So uh, yeah, what's up everybody? You guys are my age, that's so cool. It makes sense, because I initially grew my channel to the place where it's at like years ago. And then since then, it's just been going up and down like that. So the majority of my audience found me when they were teens and I was in my early 20s. Well, maybe when I was a teen, I was start ma started making these videos. So it makes sense I was attracting teens. And then I turned into my 20s. You guys are aging up with me, it's so cool. Yeah, I don't know. Time's just weird. Time is such a weird thing. Okay, it's probably gonna be kind of loud, but it feels so powerful here. It's been raining all day, and now it stopped. I can show you the, the results. Look at all this water. Usually in summer, you can swim in there. Well, you can just chill. It doesn't look like this, <laughs> wow. Okay, there's a cliff jumping spot around this corner I want to show you. I've never actually done the jump, but I've watched people do it. Everyone I've seen do it has been younger than me, they're lighter, so they don't need to worry about the, the depth so much. But for me, I would need it to be like today. Today would probably be a good, good day to jump, because the pool is not that deep. Alright, I need to be so careful, because if I slip, I'm going in. Okay, check it out.
That's the cliff jumping spot up there. Some people apparently jump from the tree. I've never seen it. You could probably also jump from there, but again, I've never actually done it. It looks deep enough today, but I don't like to cliff jump on my own in case anything goes wrong. But I will come back and I'll do this jump for you guys. Mossy. Maybe you can see, but there's houses right there. I'm so close to the town, but this little gem is just tucked away down here. Really amazing. This spot's a cool spot. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have gems like this tucked around where I live. I always want more. It's my, it's my, it's my problem. It's, I always want more than I have. But that being said, I do feel very good today. Like, I, I feel refreshed. And I haven't... All I did was talk yesterday, but I feel good. I also didn't overwork yesterday, which was nice. I edited two videos and that was it. That's all, all the work I did. Today I've got to package orders again. So I'm back on the grind. No days off, no days off. The grind don't stop. I'm just enjoying the white noise that comes with water. It does something. It's like listening to static. It just it kind of clears your brain, it, it vibrates everything away that's bothering you and it just feels good, I can't explain it, I don't understand it it just, I'm, ex I'm just sharing what, what happens to my brain yeah, it's nice it's so loud Woo! I know I didn't submerge, but it's it's not too bad. If anything, my hands are the coldest. Everything else is okay. So I just took some really long, uh, long exposure pictures for my OnlyFans, and they came out really nice. It, it makes me look like a little fairy down by the river. But the long exposure basically makes the water turn all silky. So it's, a, it's just like smooth and I don't know. I guess. Subscribe to my fans so you can see it, but they came out really nice. Okay, that was really nice. My body needed some cold water. Granted, I didn't fully submerge. <laughs> I'm still a bit of a wimp. February's cold, okay? February's like the cold this month for dips. Maybe that's the month that you really need it, though. <laughs> some pretty good timing because it started to rain now and the sun set. So, yeah, not bad. I try to force myself to do an hour outside every day. Anything less in my body just feels weird. Anything more is a bonus. Yeah, an hour is enough. That's what I recommend for anyone that's down, not feeling right, their, their brain's hurting. Like just do an hour outside in nature every day. Just listen, be present. It'll, it'll work, it'll fix everything. <laughs> that was so funny to me. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I decided to stream, which leads to a four or five hour gaming bender. I shouldn't have done that. It's now midnight 30. I've eaten food though, so we're chilling. I think I'm gonna listen to the Impulsive podcast and edit this video. Um, but there is something I wanted to share 
real quick. I, I was watching this video from Atlas Pro, if anyone follows that guy. He was explaining how rainforests work and explained that there's enough rain along the west coast of the UK to, to create essentially tall, tall trees. So he was saying like, what's on the same coast, on the west coast of America should be the same here. Giant sequoias, redwoods and stuff like that. They should grow here because of how much rain we get. But back in the day, when the humans started colonizing this island, they turned everything into farms. That is why I'm always angry at farmers and always angry at sheep farmers specifically. Because of them, all the old growth forests are gone. The UK isn't wild anymore. It's been turned into a sheep farm. And that frustrates me beyond belief because I, it's only now that I'm really understanding the severity of it. And we're never gonna be able to recover if we keep all the sheep. The sheep need to go. Um, we need a disease and it needs to be fast. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously, I, I, that's why I'm always going on about the sheep thing. Yeah, I'll just insert this and then I'll say goodbye to you all, okay? So thanks for liking, subscribing, and um, thanks to everyone that hit the join button. Nice, so Glenn Forest Dweller and, and Edward Wright, you guys are legends. Thank you for hitting the join button. I appreciate you. The further we follow the Gulf Stream, the more the air cools, and even more water falls out of the air over Ireland and Britain, which both receive upwards of 2,000 millimeters of rain annually along their coasts. But a look at Google Earth shows us again that the vast majority of these forests that once covered these islands have been thoroughly stripped away. With these levels of rain, there's no doubt that parts of Ireland and Britain could have supported temperate rainforests prior to man's arrival here, but since then nearly all the land has been converted to farms, with only very small fragments of these forests remaining hidden away within the Scottish Highlands. Ah!